Sister Wives How Kristen Brown Used Coyote Pass As Way Out Hello guys, I am Sabrina. To you welcome back to my channel. Please subscribe the channel and press bell icon for latest news updates. Recently, the Way Sister Wives star Christine Brown's plan to use Coyote Pass as an escape from plural marriage became clear. Her exit was laid out and now it shows. Was Coyote Pass a ploy? Since Sister Wives showed the process of the Brown family deciding to move to Flagstaff and purchase Coyote Pass, there have been questions swirling about why they would do that if the family was unraveling. Many people are questioning if Cody Brown created the storylines to keep people interested in the show. But even more so, fans are wondering why Kristen Brown would agree to Coyote Pass if she had no intention of ever living as a plural family unit again. Why did the Browns agree to buy Coyote Pass, especially Christine Brown? On Reddit, one Sister Wives viewer tries to make sense of why the Brown family invested in Coyote Pass. First, they start the conversation saying, why did they buy Coyote Pass? Then they add, I know the Browns aren't known for their financial wizardry, but this decision really baffles me. Did they really intended to build four or five or 17 or however many houses on Coyote Pass? Did they assume they'd be able to sell it X number of years for a profit? Is Cody just a colossal dumbass who thought it would be cool to buy land so he could stand on it with his four ringlets blowing? While some people speculate it was all to promote sister wives by creating a false storyline, another person has a simpler answer, saying Cody is an idiot. Undoubtedly, many people believe that is the clear answer to many of the underlying issues. But someone else has confusion as to why Kristen Brown went along with the plan knowing she didn't want to be in a plural home again. They say, so is Christine. She was done. Every time she was on camera she was saying how upset with Cody she was how she didn't want to be married to him. So why she bought on that place at all is confusing to me. I like Christine and think she's an amazing mom to all her kids. But luckily she had the house and could maneuver a bit. How Kristen Brown used Coyote Pass as way out. Although the Browns were at odds over the move to Flagstaff, AZ, they eventually chose to move. However, as the feed continues, the Sister Wives viewers got to the root of why Kristen Brown was willing to go along with purchasing Coyote Pass. Referring to Cody Brown, one person says his plan was to entrap them, and by that I mean financially hold them prisoner. One of them has to buy the other one out to get away. They are all idiots in their own way. They all signed up for polygamy, put up with Cody's desire to live in chaos all the time, turned over all money and finances to Cody, and then agreed to bring in wife four. Someone else sympathizes with the family in the difficult decision. Life is complicated. Sometimes it's hard to tell what you want slash should do. Then one fan hits the nail on the head, I think she used that as her leverage to leave with something financially. Christine Brown uses Coyote Pass to leave financially secure. After Christine Brown's agreement to purchase Coyote Pass, her portion's estimated worth was approximately $300,000 according to the Coconino County Court website. However, when she left, she transferred her portion of the property to Cody Brown for a mere $10. While it looked like a questionable deal on paper, she got to keep her home which had greater value based on the equity. When Christine sold her Arizona home, she was able to get approximately $700,000 for it. Previously, the purchase was in September 2018 for $520,000. Seemingly, investing in the dream of Coyote Pass gave Christine the leverage to get out of the marriage with money in her pocket by selling the home. In a confessional interview in season 17, Christine admits, if I am going to sell my house, I won't be giving him any of the money. According to Newsweek, a partner at Stowe Family Law, Matthew Taylor, gave information about the division. He said, in the absence of a legal marriage or civil partnership, there is no automatic entitlement to any financial claims as a result of the relationship. Instead, the parties would have the same minimal legal protection as a cohabiting couple. Likewise, Taylor adds, in the case of any property, any rights will depend on ownership. Unlike following a divorce, the family home cannot be divided based on fairness or by a marital entitlement, but instead, property disputes will depend on complex trust and land law. 
Likely, Coyote Pass was collateral for her to justify an agreement with Cody Brown to keep the profits from the sale of the Arizona home and move on. Another fan sees the value. Most people believe it was extremely irresponsible for the Brown to move to Flagstaff. However, some people think it was a good move. It was an actually a smart move. I think they were going to build but after COVID building prices have skyrocketed. It's so expensive to build now. They are doing the smartest thing possible. Just sitting on the land and only paying minimal amount in taxes. Someone posted the plots what was paid and the current value. All four plots have gone up in value a good amount. Rough math was about 400k total. However, Sister Wives Robin Brown's admission blows up Cody's big lie. Over the years, Cody has shown extreme favoritism toward Robin Brown. Sadly, that also means he's been particularly hard on his other wives. Over the past few seasons, Christine Brown received quite a bit of his ire. As Cody and Christine navigated through their explosive breakup, Cody notably said she was never a good sister wife to the other women. Now, Sister Wives fans have dug up an old clip that proves Cody Brown wasn't being entirely truthful. Robin Brown's previous statements contradict Cody Brown. Since Sister Wives first began, viewers have pointed out Cody and Robin Brown's half-truths and lies time and time again. Now, it seems like some fans have caught wind of another one. Cody Brown recently said that Christine treated her fellow Sister Wives terribly. But according to Robin, that's not true at all. Robin thinks Christine is a great Sister Wife, one Redditor shared online. From the horse's mouth, in the clip, Robin says Christine is being a great sister wife by lending a hand when she needs it. Of course, this completely contradicts Cody's statements made in recent seasons. Even if Cody didn't necessarily think Christine was a good sister wife, this clip demonstrates that Robin thought she was at one point in time. Well, there it is, proof Cody gaslighting liar. Another Reddit user wrote in the comments, of course, this wouldn't be the first time Cody Brown completely stretched the truth to suit his own narrative. Fans vividly remember last season when Janelle Brown even told Cody he gaslit her. Fans prepare for a lackluster season 19. Sister Wives season 19 will be here in just a few months, even though many details are still not yet certain. But already, plenty of fans are prepared for it to be one of the worst seasons in the show's history. As some viewers have pointed out, most of the show's content derives from the Brown family members all being together. Now that Janelle, Mary, and Christine have all parted ways with Cody, the show will have to focus on four different stories instead of one. On top of that, viewers already know Season 19 will touch on Garrison Brown's tragic death in March 2024. It was an incredibly difficult situation and many feel concerned that TLC will exploit his death for ratings instead of treating it with the tact and care it deserves. But no matter what season 19 has in store, fans are sure Robin and Cody will continue to treat the other family members terribly. However, Sister Wives, Robin's real face exposed, is she a gold digger? The Sister Wives family has long fascinated fans with its intriguing dynamics, it all began with celebrity polygamist Cody Brown and his four wives, Mary, Janelle, Christine, and Robin. However, the family dynamics took a drastic turn when the fourth wife, Robin, joined. Coming from a polygamous background, Robin found Cody's lifestyle suitable, and soon she became a part of it. Since her arrival, fans have often criticized her character, labeling her as pretentious. Over time, the other sister wives separated from Cody, leaving him alone with Robin. Now Cody finds himself in a monogamous relationship with no choice of his own. So was this Robin's plan all along? Did she want Cody all to herself? We've got all the tea. Sister wives, is Robin Brown stealing money from Cody Brown? It's hard to pinpoint just one thing wrong with Robin because there are so many reasons. Since joining sister wives family, Fans have consistently disliked her. Time and time again, Robin has been accused of faking her personality. She has also been blamed for isolating Cody from the rest of the family, which eventually took a toll on the sister wives and their children. However, some fan theories might be more than merely accusations. When Robin first joined the Brown family, she tried to appear as a team player. She had previously been married to David Jessup, 
and it didn't work out. The former spouses shared three children, Dayton, Aurora, and Brianna, whom Cody accepted as his own after marrying Robin. But Robin didn't just bring her kids into the Brown family, she also brought a significant amount of debt. However, Cody welcomed her despite this. When the Brown family was being investigated for bigamy in Leahy, Utah, they struggled to find a house that could accommodate everyone. During this time, the sister wives had to live in separate homes. Interestingly, Robin, who had initially talked about renting a small house, ended up living in an $890,000 mansion with Cody. Meanwhile, Janelle had to live in a trailer park and the other wives managed in tiny homes. It seems like Robin married Cody for his fame and money. After their marriage, she became not only famous but also financially independent. Sister Wives Robin Brown hasn't posted about Garrison's death. While the housing situations took a toll on the Sister Wives family, the pandemic made things even worse. Robin has consistently tried to isolate Cody from the other wives. During the pandemic, Cody chose to live with Robin and their children, imposing strict rules on the rest of the family. He didn't visit his other wives and often forgot his kids' birthdays. This strained their already fragile relationships. Janelle's son Garrison Brown did not follow Cody's rules and often argued with him over his social life. In June, Garrison tragically died in his room. The news shook the fans and the Brown family. Fans quickly blamed Cody and Robin for Garrison's death. Since then, Cody and each of the wives have posted about Garrison's passing. Some of the family members are still keeping his memory alive and paying tribute. Robin, on the other hand, has remained silent on the matter. This silence is particularly suspicious since, during the pandemic, Cody had asked Garrison to apologize to Robin, further damaging their relationship. Time and time again, Robin has been seen as the cause of the Brown family's downfall. It seems likely that Robin pretended to embrace the polygamous lifestyle but actually wanted a monogamous relationship with Cody all along. In the end, she'd have succeeded in driving all the other sister wives away. However, sister wives fans expose and blast Brown's family big lies. Recently, Sister Wives fans have called out the inconsistencies during the show that point to the Browns lying at different times throughout the show. Some fans are seeing and exposing the Brown family's big lies. The Brown family forgets some things they have previously said on Sister Wives. Many Sister Wives fans have watched the family evolve over the years. Undeniably, they have changed their tune on several different issues throughout the 18 seasons of the show. With so many moving pieces, it is hard for the Browns to keep up with what they say during filming. Now, fans are exposing moments that the family was caught in lies. Unmistakably, there are almost too many to count. Sister Wives fans expose and blast Brown's family big lies. On Reddit, Sister Wives fans had a conversation about the inaccuracies in the show. First, one user says, let's poke holes in their claims. Then they add, one of my favorite things to do is to disprove lies they told on the show using facts or observations seen on the show. What are some of your favorites? Furthermore, the user kicks off the thread with some of their favorite reveals from the family outing themselves over time. They continue, I always ran about Cody's excuses to leave Christine during labor and why it was solely to see Robin, but I also like Robin claiming she never took the personality test. My new one I heard during my current rewatch is Janelle and Mary both implying they had no issues in their bedroom activities and Cody saying you shouldn't be sexually active if you don't love someone, then later saying he never loved the OG3. Some instances were unveiled during the lookbacks where Cody, Mary, Janelle, Christine and Robin Brown had to watch how they reacted in the past versus their current stances on many different topics. Fans add more examples of time the Browns were caught in a lie. After the initial Redditor made the post, several other fans gave other examples they thought of from the past. The one where Robin says she is a jewelry designer. Cody, I don't feel loved. Also Cody, I'd rather be respected than loved. When Janelle was running in the race and before it took place, Robin was so concerned that Janelle's matching shirt didn't arrive. Then when it came in at the last minute it was a smaller size than they ordered. Robin was so disappointed and said she was sorry Janelle would not match the family. 
Janelle tried on the shirt and she looked really good in it. Robin really was disappointed then. The wives in the new season saying that they did not ever sign up for patriarchy, when in the early seasons they talk about how they absolutely signed up for patriarchy. I think they even talk about it during their TV interview. Someone else points out, Cody said their reason for doing the show was to combat the stereotype of patriarchy. Robin Brown's Mansion Some Sister Wives fans remember how Robin Brown had unreasonable expectations for finding a rental. Robin not wanting to buy a house but doesn't relent on the impossible requirements of renting a house so has to buy a McMansion. Any self-respecting family would downsize whilst renting to save for a house purchase. Ah, um, NC never had any intention of building with the family. Someone else adds to the point about Robin Brown's rental expectations, saying, I'm at that point in my rewatch too. She wants a seven-bedroom rental. Why seven bedrooms? At most they need six, seven to include a nanny. Like in the other families, the girlies could double up as could the little ones. Four bedrooms at most. Can I add to this? Earlier season, Cody said that families like theirs always have kids share bedrooms, but then Robin wouldn't have any of her kids share rooms. When Robin during the one home discussion says that any of the wives and even Cody can leave the relationship at any time and shouldn't have to stay and feel trapped in their marriage, then she is absolutely furious when Christine leaves and won't let Mary go, even though she knows Cody never intends to be with her again. They can leave as long as they keep putting money in their bank account lol. Sister Wives viewers remember a sad encounter. During COVID-19, there was a big divide in Sister Wives between many of the family members, especially Cody's disapproval of how Gabe and Garrison Brown were not following the rules that Cody had. But during that time, fans remember a very sad encounter that occurred that was difficult to see. A viewer remembers, Cody saying they never forget a birthday, but Gabe Brown's was forgotten. Another viewer adds, same, I always cry when I see that scene. All he wanted was his dad to understand that he hurt him but Cody has too much pride to apologize to his kids. I hope after what happened with Garrison he has done some self-reflection and maybe started mending the relationships with his kids. A viewer remembers, Cody saying they never forget a birthday but Gabe Brown's was forgotten. Another viewer adds, same, I always cry when I see that scene. All he wanted was his dad to understand that he hurt him, but Cody has too much pride to apologize to his kids. I hope after what happened with Garrison, he has done some self-reflection and maybe started mending the relationships with his kids. Sister Wives fans discuss the Brown's financial decisions, Additionally, Sister Wives fans recall Janelle Brown saying she had her own money. Janelle at the panel slash debate saying she has her own bank account and she doesn't share. When they first get to Vegas, Cody says he cashed his 401k for them to live off during the transition. They mention how they are all looking for work because they are not a one-income family. Guess who is the only one to have never found outside work in 18 seasons? They lied about their dire financial sitch repeatedly. What broke person can afford to move, have constant professional picks taken, own 8 million watches, start a jewelry business, etc., etc., add museum? I guess they have to pretend they don't have the TLC money, but it always, always so annoying to watch. However, Sister Wives Cody Brown devised Coyote Pass fake storyline. Just how much of the Coyote Pass drama on Sister Wives was real? After some thoughtful consideration, some viewers think Cody Brown might have manufactured quite a few of the problems for the sake of the show. After all, most viewers agree that Cody's decision to move the family to Flagstaff didn't make any sense. Was it all for the cameras? Cody Brown moved the family to Arizona. Fans thought it was a terrible idea. Most Sister Wives users agree that moving to Arizona was a poor decision. Back in Las Vegas, each wife had their own home in a cul-de-sac so Cody could easily visit each family. Once they moved, the family really began to splinter. It would only be a matter of time before the family completely disintegrated. Why did they buy Coyote Pass? One Sister Wives user asked on Reddit. I know the Browns aren't known for their financial wizardry, but this decision really baffles me. Did they really intended to build four or five or 17 or however many houses on Coyote Pass? 
Did they assume they'd be able to sell it X number of years for a profit? Is Cody just a colossal dumb asterisk 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 who thought it would be cool to buy land so he could stand on it with his four ringlets blowing? I think they actually intended to build and saw themselves in the future in a tight community with kids and grandkids coming to stay and visit, another Reddit user replied. They failed to do the research for viability of building there. They were just ill-equipped to do things the correct way. Of course, the constant fighting over Coyote Pass also made for great reality television. The property really divided the adults and caused several arguments, which kept Sister Wives going. Sister Wives is ultimately fooled by chaos and drama. Cody Brown knows better than anyone that drama keeps reality television shows on the air, whether the chaos is manufactured or not. Many Sister Wives viewers wouldn't at all be surprised if they learned Cody devised the Coyote Pass storyline for the sake of good television. Although many details about the upcoming 19th season are still under wraps, many fans anticipate that it will be the most dramatic season yet. Between Garrison Brown's death and Mary and Janelle leaving Cody, there are multiple avenues for the Brown family to explore. However, Sister Wives Janelle Brown finds her groove, feels accomplished. After Garrison Brown passed away, Sister Wives fans worried that Janelle Brown would never know happiness again. Although she misses her son terribly, the TLC star is learning to get back into the swing of things. Based on her social media activity, she's really finding her stride amid all the heartbreak. These days, Janelle spends quite a bit of time with her surviving children enjoying her favorite hobbies. Fans that follow her on Instagram know that she adores gardening. In fact, she recently made a major accomplishment with the fruits of her labor and can't wait to share it with fans. See what Janelle posted. Janelle Brown enjoys life to the fullest these days. Fans who keep up with Janelle Brown's Instagram page have witnessed a complete transformation in the TLC star. Since leaving Cody Brown, Janelle hangs out with friends, explores new places, and embarks on fun adventures with her family members. But it's her latest gardening achievement that really has Janelle beaming. What can fans expect in Season 19? Sister Wives Season 19 is just around the corner and fans are eager to catch up with Janelle and Christine most of all. Viewers are thrilled to know the women are living their best lives after getting out from Cody Brown's thumb. However, the exact content of the new season is still a mystery. However, I'm worried Sister Wives Season 19 will be the worst season yet. Cody Brown's relationships with three wives end, impacting Sister Wives Season 19. Tragedy strikes the Brown family with the unexpected passing of Cody and Janelle's son. X is moving on and new relationships complicate the show's dynamics in season 19. Sister Wives season 18 saw the end of Cody Brown's marriages to two of his remaining three wives and I believe now that there's been an unspeakable tragedy in the Brown family. Sister Wives season 19 isn't going to be good. After decades of marriage, Cody's relationships with Christine Brown, Janelle Brown, and Mary Brown have come to an end in the last few years. Cody's relationship with Christine crumbled throughout Sister Wives season 17, when she chose to leave the family and move from Arizona to Utah in order to be closer to her adult children and extended family. After Christine left, Cody's other relationship began to feel the effects of the abandonment he was feeling. While his marriage to Robin Brown stayed intact, Cody's marriage to Janelle was impacted when the couple had a massive fight that made it impossible for them to repair their connection. Mary, who had been Cody's legal wife until Robin married him in 2014, chose to end her relationship with Cody after the couple had been growing apart for decades and finally struggled when they realized they couldn't repair their relationship. I believe the upcoming season of Sister Wives will feel tremendously off. Cody Brown isn't with his exes anymore. After years of turmoil, Cody and three of his four wives have ended their relationships, which will make their appearances on Sister Wives staggered and strange. In the past, Sister Wives has revolved around the marriages in the Brown family, showing off the dynamics between Cody and each of his wives in good times and bad. While their relationships have been the focal point of the past, with Cody and his three original wives having split up, it will be odd to see them apart. 
I feel Sister Wives Season 19 will suffer with the family having more isolated storylines. Garrison Brown's passing will make everything so sad. Although Sister Wives Season 19 would have likely already been a struggle to watch because of the splits between Cody and his wives, the family has been impacted by tragedy, which will make it even more difficult. In early 2024, Cody and Janelle's son Garrison Brown passed away unexpectedly, leaving the family in mourning. Hello lovely viewers, welcome to my channel. I am Sabrina, hope your day is so well. If you like the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel.